Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel here at Blooming Raw. I hope you guys are doing absolutely incredible today. I miss you guys so freaking much. I am literally so, 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 so happy today, you guys. I just feel so humble and so happy and so grateful to be back with you guys here on YouTube for another video. In today's video, I thought I would do a quick little fridge tour. I'm also going to be doing a bonus um, freezer tour as well as a pantry tour for you guys. This video has been so, so highly requested to do on my channel, so I figured why not do it today. I also want to take a quick moment and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for 14 thousand subscribers you guys that is freaking wild i never imagined myself getting to 14,000 subscribers on this channel and it's all thanks to you guys i love each and every single one of you guys you guys are absolutely amazing and just being able to connect with you guys on this platform is literally the best thing in the world that I get to do. So thank you guys so much. I love you. All right, guys, before we jump into this video, please give it a huge thumbs up for me right now. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's jump into it. All right, guys, let me show you what's in my fridge first. <laughs> You guys, I still have this magnet on my freaking fridge. It says, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess what movie that's from. But yeah, I saw it at a local um, Halloween store and I was obsessed with it because I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite childhood Halloween movies, like literally ever. But yeah, I don't know why it's still on my fridge. It's not October anymore, it's March, so. <laughs> Anyways, all right guys, here we go. For the top two shelves, this is where I usually keep my dark leafy greens, my herbs, my celery. So I'll start over here. Gotta have kale in my fridge. Kale is a must. Um, I love specifically dino kale. Um, I love to put it in my salads, my smoothies, all of that good stuff. Dino kale specifically is bomb in smoothies, you guys. It's so good. I also have some romaine lettuce here. I also have some collard leaves. I'll typically use the collard leaves for like a raw vegan burrito recipe. They're super good for that. And then over here, I like to keep my herbs. So I have some curly parsley here. I also believe I have some fresh dill. Generally, I'll juice my herbs, so I'll put them in salads. Specifically with dill, I like to put it in my salad dressings. It just adds such a nice flavor. And then down here is where I'll keep my lettuce. So I have some beautiful red leaf lettuce, some green leaf lettuce, some more romaine lettuce, as well as some green onion and two heads of celery that I like to juice in the mornings. And then down here is typically where I'll keep my fruit selection. So I have some ambrosia apples here in the front, and then I have um, some juices prepared for the week. This one is pineapple. I also have some cantaloupe, some watermelon, some more pineapple back there, and then some leftover honeydew melon juice. I love that gorgeous green color. It's so pretty. Back here, I have some berries. So I have some organic blueberries, and some organic blackberries back there. Over here, I have some raspberries. These are super, super sweet, you guys. They're so good. And then underneath, I have some more blackberries. I also have some organic baby carrots. These are super great and such a wonderful addition to salads. I have some organic cauliflower. I'll typically chop it up and put it in sushi or I'll make some dehydrated buffalo wings with it. So good. And then I have a head of um, purple cabbage back there and underneath i have some organic cherry tomatoes these are super 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 sweet super yummy i love them all right guys on to the next shelf i'm literally sitting on the ground right now because my my phone is about to die i'm trying to get comfortable on the ground but it's not working out too well on this shelf i have some pineapple pineapple is literally one of my favorite fruits like ever probably top five i don't typically keep it in my refrigerator but i'm about to juice it tomorrow and i love my juices to be super 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 cold so that's why it's in here but yeah i love pineapple i gotta have it i love me encanta Mwah. i also have some fresh young coconut water i love that sound <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love fresh young coconut water first thing in the morning. It's so hydrating, super refreshing, and has so many beneficial electrolytes in it to remineralize, refuel, re-energize your body, and 
yeah, I just love it so much. I have about six of those in there. I also have some avocado halves in here that I'm probably gonna use for tonight's salad before they go bad. <laughs> and then back here, I have a beautiful honeydew melon, if I can get out of the fridge. <laughs> I am obsessed with honeydew melon, like, obsessed. It's probably one of my favorite melons to juice just because it is so freaking sweet. It's like nature's candy. It's like amazing. I love it. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I'm probably gonna juice this baby tomorrow as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, my legs are falling asleep. <laughs> In the next drawer, um, I have a mixture of some vegetables and some fruits. This is my salad drawer. So this is all of the things I like to put on my salad. So I have some bell pepper. I have all four colors. Look how gorgeous these colors are. So vibrant, so beautiful, so colorful, so full of life. I absolutely love bell pepper in my salads and in any raw vegan recipe really. I also have some very beautiful on the vine tomatoes. These are so gorgeous and so yummy. You technically don't even have to put tomatoes in the fridge, but I like to. Also got some more tomatoes here. I also have some cucumber here as well. Cucumbers are an absolute must in my fridge. They are a staple for juicing, making delicious cucumber noodles, and I even just like to snack on them. They're so hydrating and so delicious. I also have some fresh zucchini, um, and I'll typically spiralize these as well and make some zoodles with them. In this bottom drawer, I like to keep my citrus. So um, I have currently some Valencia oranges. These are super, super, super sweet. I absolutely love to juice them. I also have some mandarins. These are so tiny and super cute and adorable. They make a great snack or even a mono meal. I typically need to have like 15 to 20 of these to fill me up, but yeah. That's it for the bottom drawer. All right guys, so here's the side of my fridge. Um, I have some organic kiwis up top, some broccoli sprouts. Um, I believe these are chives. Yep, some organic chives there. I typically use them for like salad dressings and stuff. I also have some baking soda. Baking soda is a must in my fridge because I use them for preparation for my produce and my kelp noodles, things like that. I also have some leftover walnut meat, which is just chopped up walnuts, some sun-dried tomatoes, some jalapeno. I think I have a variation of different spices in here as well. It's so yummy. I also have some leftover cauliflower, some leftover bell pepper from my salad the other night. I also have some jalapeno here and some tomato. On this shelf, I have some rainbow microgreens. These are so delicious. Back here, I have some leftover basil pesto dressing. I actually featured it in a recent recipe video. I'll link it above if you haven't seen it already. I also have some kimchi here. This is a raw fermented probiotic. It has like ginger, carrots, um, cabbage. It's super good for your gut microbiome. There's so many beneficial probiotics in it. I would highly recommend this. I also have some raw jalapeno sauerkraut from Hawthorne Valley. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Hawthorne Valley. I love their products. I also have a little bit of raw fermented hot sauce left. Um, this one is by Poor Devil Pepper Company. It's called Little Frankie. Um, I actually threw away the packaging, but I have a card from them, I think, and I'll read it to you guys in a sec. So yeah, this is the card that you get whenever you order from Poor Devil Pepper Company. Um, it says, we at Poor Devil value flavor as much as heat. That's why we think fermented sauces are the future. No additives, no preservatives, never pasteurized, just fresh, organic ingredients, sea salt, and thyme. It also says when you buy Poor Devil, you're supporting a whole ecosystem of mission-aligned small farms, small businesses, artists, and a big idea for the future. I love that. And then you flip it over and it says <laughs> the hottest thing in the fridge, literally. Their hot sauce is probably the hottest thing in my fridge, but I love it. I would definitely recommend checking them out. They are vegan, gluten-free, certified organic, zero waste, and certified raw. I also have some watermelon and lime juice here. I was actually currently drinking this. That's why there's no lid on it. But yeah, it's super tasty. Mm. 
Mm, that's so good. I also have some raw namba shoyu and some coconut aminos back there. Down here, I have my hydration shelf. So I have my water, coconut waters. Um, I love Harmless Harvest. It's so delicious, so tasty. Um, and the coconut water has like this gorgeous pink color. And yeah, it's like super sweet. Probably the sweetest coconut water I've ever tasted. And on the bottom row, I have my Symbiotica Mushroom Supplement. I absolutely love this one. It tastes like chocolate fudge syrup. And it has just so many benefits. The benefits of mushrooms are endless. They have so many amazing healing and medicinal properties. Um, and then I have an elderberry defense supplement here from Symbiotica as well. A vitamin C supplement. I have an iron supplement here by Mary Ruth, and I also have Mary Ruth's raw um, liquid probiotic. This over here is actually for loose. Um, this is a digestive aid supplement that I give him. Pumpkin is a great prebiotic for dogs. It really, really helps with um, balancing out the gut microbiome. And yeah, he has a very sensitive stomach, so this has worked wonders for him. And then in the way back, I have a couple more supplements from Symbiotica. I have the liposomal sulforaphane matrix, and I'll use this occasionally. Um, I'll put it in like my water or in my smoothies. And I also have their liquid magnesium as well. So that's it for the fridge. Now I'm gonna show you guys what's in my freezer. It's not much. It's mostly just fruit in here. Um, so I have my frozen bananas at the very top to make nice creams and stuff. And then down here, I have some frozen mixed berries, some frozen pineapple in the back. I have some acai packs here to make smoothies. I'm actually in the process of making some honeydew popsicles super excited for how those turn out and then down here just some more frozen fruit I have some frozen bananas more berries some raspberries and some dark cherries and on the side here again more fruit okay guys so this is my pantry it's pretty freaking barren <laughs> I don't typically like to keep a lot of things in here. So on this shelf, I have more pumpkin for loose. Um, got some Ziploc bags, some trash bags, some red onion. I'll typically put my um, high fat items over here. As you can see, I love my nut butters. I have almond. Um, I have a cashew butter in the back here. I have some raw tahini. I typically use tahini as a base for my dressings. And then I have this raw coconut cacao bliss from Artisan Organics. Super, super, super good. I also have two boxes of some raw medjool dates. I love dates just to snack on. They're super, super, super yummy. I also have some hemp seeds, chia seeds, cacao nibs, cacao powder, flaxseed, and shredded coconut things. There. And at the very top, I like to put my nuts and my seeds up here. So I have some sunflower seeds, some cashews, two bags of walnuts. I also have these very delicious organic um, sunflower seeds. They're lime flavored and they make such a great addition to salads as a topping. They're delicious. I also have some sprouted granola from Go Raw and um, some more hemp seeds from Sprouts. I have some raw organic coconut wraps. I actually featured these in a previous video. I picked these up from Amazon. They're so sweet and delicious. And then I have these organic veggie wraps that I also picked up from Amazon as well. All right, last thing I'm gonna show you guys is my fruit stash that I typically like to keep out of the fridge aside from the pineapple because like i said earlier if i'm going to juice it i like to put it in the refrigerator if i'm just going to eat it it can stay out on the counter but i have some bananas over here these are almost at full ripeness i love them to be like really really almost really dark brown and really speckly um that's one of the sweetest and i also have some juicy mangoes these are delicious as well as some honey mangoes down there I have some jalapeno and some avocado. Over here, I have some more mango and some citrus. I have some lemon and some lime and a delicious and juicy papaya that I can't wait to cut into later. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, feel free to drop me a comment down below letting me know what specifically you like to put in your fridge as well as what content you guys would like to see on my channel next. But anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. So, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.
拜。